London, Sydney, Seoul, Tunis. The outrage over the death of George Floyd is global. Defying lockdown measures or foregoing government advice, still they came in their hundreds of thousands, calling for an end to police brutality and institutional racism. In London, tens of thousands amassed despite the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Most protesters brought masks and some were provided for those who didn't. It's been our grandfather's fight, it's been our father's fight. We don't want it to be our children's fight and that's why we want to make sure they're a part of this as well. It was a similar situation in Melbourne, where protesters waved away safety concerns. I'm doing everything I can to stay safe and to help others stay safe, but at the end of the day, there are bigger injustices happening than a virus. Protesters also gathered in central Tokyo, and in neighboring South Korea, dozens of people took part in a march through the capital. On Thursday, Germany passed a law forbidding public authorities from discriminating against anyone based on their gender, race, sexual orientation and more. Now, tens of thousands gathered in Berlin's Alexanderplatz and the movement spread to smaller cities like Hamburg and Munich as well. All in all, well over a dozen protests were held outside of the US on Saturday. They serve as a reminder that the fight for equality for people of color is not just an American problem.